world of iPads, cell phones, and laptops, it's easy to get lost in constant technological advancements, but uh, teachers and students at the Montana School for the Deaf and Blind have learned how to harness the newest tech trends. KRTV's Beth Beachy visited MSDB to get a feel for how much education has changed for the visually and hearing impaired. Ed and Betty Van Tegum have close ties to Montana School for the Deaf and the Blind. Betty, a teacher, Ed, an alumnus, and they fell in love. When I first accepted my teaching job here, it was because I wanted to develop my experience of teaching in a smaller school. And I thought that I would move maybe to a larger school, but I met my husband when I was here, and so I stayed. And that was 50 some years ago. And in those 50 years, Ed says he's remained devoted to serving the deaf community. Making sure our deaf student got the proper service and effort, not only here at the school, but statewide as well. And hearing impaired students across the state can access MSDB thanks to technology. Students can now attend MSDB from hundreds of miles away via VisionNet, a video chat system which allows students to learn from afar. And it's matching a definition with a term. So I send that, which is what you see up on the screen now. Sanguine has one student in Laurel and one in Knoxon, and he says while teaching through a flat screen isn't ideal, the technology allows them to make the most with what they have. If you can engage them on many levels in three dimensions, and that those are restricted with the two dimensions, and you know your progress is going to be slower. You are still educating, you're still teaching them, uh, but it is you know on a different different level. He says tech wasn't the teacher in this instance, it was the tool. And those tools are certainly helping students at MSDB as well. A main tool that teachers have implemented for both blind and deaf students is the iPad. The students who um, have no vision actually can run their program, they can find their own programs on this with no assistance from an adult or from another student. Voice over on, landscape, words HD free. Double tap to open. And former teachers and students say they can't believe how students are learning today. With the technology and the advancement of all this stuff, it's awesome. And it was just amazing to see that. And I eventually, I envy our children now that they have those experiences. We want kids to be independent where they can, you know, be part of society and contribute to that. Schwabi says that's been the mission of MSDB, and in 120 years, many changes have created new norms for students and teachers. But Schwabi says the technology doesn't hand the students an education. Rather, it allows them to flourish at their own rate. It's given us um, opportunities to um, open doors for students because now they're kind of on the same footing uh, as, their, as their hearing or sighted peers. In Great Falls, Beth Beachy, MTN News. MSDB got its start 120 years ago, September 1st, 1893. The Great Falls campus opened back in 1937.